So a while ago I had some videos on this channel where I did some two minutes tutorials on editing. And now I want to come back on this idea, but I want to do it from another perspective. So I want to create a series of videos that in a very short amount of time would present some tips or some concepts. And uh, today it's going to be about reflections. And the idea is that when you go out as a landscape photographer, you have a set of tools available to you that you can use to create a beautiful uh, rendition or a beautiful interpretation of the landscape in front of you. And these tools are basically technical tools and artistic tools. The technical tools are your camera, your ND gradated filters, ND filters, polarizers, lens, wide, tele, okay? This is the technical side. And then you have your own artistic uh, set of tools that are more related to your decision of what aperture you're going to use, what exposure time you're going to use, what moment of light you're going to use, uh, the composition that you're going to create, and reflections, the topic that I want to talk about today, it's a very, very powerful asset that you need to be aware of. So whenever you are in landscapes, photographing it, try to find the surface of water. Sometimes even a really small surface of water, if you are close enough and low enough, you'll be able to fill half of the frame with the reflection of uh, the landscape. Now, as a technical side, reflections are two to three stops darker than the actual landscape that is being reflected. That is why I suggest you to use an integrated filter of two stops or maybe three stops to compensate for that. In terms of focus, focus on the landscape in the background. Uh, because if you're going to try to focus, uh, let's say, two, three meters, five meters in front of you, you may end up photographing uh, the landscape by focusing on the surface of the water. And the reflection, it's in another plane. Reasons for doing this. It's so pleasant to look at. I mean, there is no right or wrong, there is no explanation that could justify why an image looks good in photography. It simply looks good. But uh, when we are talking about reflections, I think it adds mystery. You already decided that the top part looks good, that is why you decided to make the photo there. Having that ref uh, object, that, that entire composition being reflected uh, in the surface of water. I don't know. It's something mystical about it. Very rarely the reflection is going to be absolutely perfect. There's n there's not going to be distinction between those two. And that is a moment when the image will play a trick on the viewer's mind. But even when the reflection is not perfect and it's a distorted version of the landscape above, even in that moment we, we as human, we are not used to see nature like this. Even, even though we are near a surface of water, we are going to see the, the, the edges. We're going to be completely aware that that surface of water, it's, it's not going endlessly. It stops. And when you are photographing a landscape being reflected in the surface, you have to stay really low and really close to the water so that the entire half lower half of the image is filled with that reflection and that is why I think it looks so good. It, it creates an image that you are not used to see as a person when you are out there in, uh, in real life. Now I hope you found this information useful. I hope you will support this idea of creating these two minute tutorials as a secondary video during the week and if you found this useful then please subscribe to this YouTube channel and uh, you'll see more of this. Until next time, keep on photographing because it's the only way that you can get better. Bye-bye.